Bruce Lee fans will tell you Muhammad Ali was talking about Bruce Lee when he said, I want to create kickboxing. I already made a deal with a karate guy for a fight with me. First of all, Bruce Lee was against karate in all of his movies and introduced himself as Kung Fu and not as Karate. Ali never mentioned the name of the Karate guy who he was going to fight with. Bruce Lee fans will tell you that Bruce Lee was preparing to Bruce fight had a huge collection Muhammad. of boxing films, and he thought the world of Muhammad Ali. And what he would do was very unique. I mean, once he came in, he lights were all out, and he's watching this 8 millimeter film, and he's watching it backwards. Muhammad Ali had a left foot forward stance, and Bruce would have a right foot forward, so he would run the films backward in the film editor and study them meticulously. He would stretch and read and review an 8 millimeter film of a boxer at the same time. According to John Saxon, uh, his co-star in Enter the Dragon, John asked him, why, why do you have all these boxing films on Ali? And he said that Bruce looked at him and said, because one day I'm going to fight him. It makes more sense that the karate guy was no other than Elvis Presley. Muhammad was his friend, and he even gave him an expensive robe. Muhammad was so happy when Elvis gifted him the robe and kept it in a secure place. Elvis was a real-time martial artist. He was very skilled. Real karate and taekwondo champions would train at Elvis's dojo. Chuck Norris is a gay karate champion. Elvis was a KO master. Look at Chuck Norris real fights. His gay karate will not help him against any of Elvis's students from killing him. Chuck Norris is gay and weak. Only a movie hero. If Bruce Lee really exchanged his kicking knowledge with Chuck Norris, he will not last 10 seconds with Ali. Now, look at one of Elvis's students. Larry Kelly, who destroyed Billy Blanks, man. Here, another Elvis student, Bill Superfoot Wallace. Elvis Presley really was the best American karate teacher. Chuck Norris the faggot can only win from Elvis in a movie, in a real fight. Elvis would have finished him in 10 seconds. And what about Bruce Lee? He never fought a real fight. He himself said he was a philosopher and not a fighter. Muhammad regularly visited Elvis's gym to practice his kicks with the best of the best. As we see in this photo, American Taekwondo master, Jun Ri teaching Ali Taekwondo kicks. This is a prove that Elvis not only had the best martial arts students, but also his partners were real beasts. Also note, Elvis is bigger and stronger than Chuck Norris and Bruce Lee. There is no proof that Bruce Lee made a deal with Ali to create kickboxing. All evidence suggests it was Elvis.